It's currently minus 48 out there in the street. Still have this mist all over the streets of Usnera. And actually, is that cold? My hands start getting frostbitten. Давай сюда или вперед? Можно вперед? Давай быстрее, это холодно. I see the part the bus uphill and there's no handbrake, so I had to come here and then hold the brake pedal like this. Not long ago, I decided to cross one of the coldest and most inhospitable region of the world in the worst possible season for a trip of this kind. I decided to cross the entirety of Siberia from Irkutsk to Magadan in one go. After passing by places like Yakutsk and Oymyakon, the coldest inhabited places in the world, I found myself in the semi-abandoned mining town of Usnera. By now, I only had a thousand kilometers left on my trip to Magadan and these thousand kilometers were to be covered on the legendary Kalima Highway, one of the coldest, most remote and most dangerous roads in the world. Covering the whole stretch from Usniera to Magadan in one day would have still been too much. After asking around a bit, I was able to arrange a local marshrutka to Susuman, a mining town in the Magadan Oblast whose main tourist attraction is, spoiler alert, a random Soviet plane sticking out of a building. Before leaving to Susuman, however, I wanted to take a couple of hours to explore the legendary mining town of Usniera. After all, when was I ever going to get another chance to visit the legendary mining town of Usniera? Pilmeni for lunch, Pilmeni for dinner and Pilmeni for breakfast as well. It's currently minus 48 out there in the street. And it's 8.30 at the moment, it's a bit late, I couldn't get myself to get up as early as I wanted to. So I'll just have breakfast really quickly and then I'll just head to the main street of town and let's have a walk around and then probably get back to this address and just wait for my Mashutka driver to Susuman here. And I'm really proud to announce that I'm becoming just now the first Italian to ever vlog in Usnera for YouTube. Wow, good morning Usnera, population 5000. This village looks so creepy. I can't tell if it's really foggy or if it's just my ski goggles that keep fogging up. Oh yeah, it's not so bad now. <laughs> Every Russian town has a monument in dedication to the Second World War and ooh, I almost slipped there and Usniera is indeed a Russian town and that's how you have something like this This must be probably the main tourist attraction of the town of Usniera the town of Usniera, like most of the other settlements and villages around the Kalima Highway, was founded in the 1930s and that is because it was around that time that criminals and dissidents from all over the Soviet Union were being sent to the gulags around the Kalima and of course the gulags around this part of the world were probably known as the harshest in all over the Soviet Union just because of the incredible climate conditions that you could find here and the main task of the prisoners of the Kalima gulags was to build the Kalima Highway, the road that we've been traveling on on our way from Yakutsk all the way to Magadan. So specifically Usniera was founded in 1938 and then a couple of years later the war broke out. Fast forward five years later the war has ended. Fast forward some years later and you've got this war monument built in the center of Usniera. In the meanwhile, just opposite to the memorial in dedication to the Second World War, we can find the main street of the town of Usniera. Can you guys believe it? This is Ulitsa Lenina, Lenin Street. Wow! And hopefully it's right on Lenin Street that we should be able to find our local Lenin. So I was reading about Usniera on the internet, very limited information that you can find in English about this town. But basically, I read that the statue of Lenin should be a bit hidden somewhere. So it's not like there's a massive Lenin square as usual with a huge statue of Lenin, but it's a small one and it should be somewhere in a children's playground. <laughs> so I was just walking along Lenin Street and I found that. That's a children's playground. Let's go and have a look if this is actually the children's playground that we need to be at. 
So I think that yesterday night I mentioned that this was going to be a bust, a bust of Lenin, but of course it's not, it's a full blown statue, look at this, a silver Lenin on a pedestal like this, covered in snow, here, one of the coldest Lenins, if not THE coldest Lenin in the entire world, right in this playground, look at this, do kids even play here? Looks like it, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I don't know, probably in summer kids come out and they do come and play here, but in winter I find that very hard to believe. Wow, you guys, oh shit. Wow, you guys have absolutely zero clue how difficult it is to vlog in these temperatures. Now, the lens was freezing up, but that's not the biggest issue. This is completely wet because, of course, it was freezing up and it was covered in ice while I was on the outside. And then I came inside just to withdraw some cash from the only ATM in town because I need to pay the guy who's going to take me to Susuman. And every single time I take out my phone out of the pocket in order to take an Instagram story, I'm able to take two and then my hands start getting frostbitten and then of course the phone dies as well I can't take any pictures with my camera with this one because it's too cold I feel like the plastic of my boots is freezing up as well These are definitely not the right shoes for this kind of weather although they might look like it I bought these in Moscow and I feel like that was the wrong move Man, these days such a pain While I was inside this beer bank building my driver called me and said that he was ready to come and pick me up And so he did Name's Vasily. Как зовут? David. David? Да. David. Все хорошо. Там теплее, чем здесь или как? Одинаково. Одинаково. О, хорошо. Давай сюда или вперед? Можно вперед? Да, можно. Только сумку сюда. Да, да, да. Давай быстрее, это холодно. Это холодно. Let's go. Ремешок. Да, 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 да. Давай. Да, обязательно. Обязательно вот пока подвезу уже встретил гаишников. А, есть в городе? Здесь, да, просто держи руками вот сюда и все. Ты держи вот так. Да, да, да. Так. пока выйдем, потом не надо а, будет. Okay. So our visit to Usnera was, of course, unfortunately cut short to two reasons mainly. One is that it was way too freaking cold and my battery kept dying every three minutes. <laughs> and the second reason was that the bus driver and the Mashutka driver called me to leave to Susuman earlier than planned. So we're currently refueling just on the outskirts of Usnera and we're now heading to Susuman. <laughs> <laughs> Batterie che camera mi raiuto sraso. Giusti giusti visioni, da 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 da. Non ti Ah, io sto io sono lì. 100 grammi, to io giovi se ne vado. Snimai tot. Tak люди жили, живут и будут жить. Ну та там им больше не живут. Это Ленин сказал. А а Ленин сказал. Ленин сказал, что антихрист тот, блин. А, к сожалению, я не знаю афоризмы Ленина. Поехали. Едем. Это уже Калимская трасса? Это Калимская трасса, Хорошо. Да. А надо целую дорогу так держаться или, или как? Нет, нет, все, можно выбрать. Не надо? Окей. Okay. Я тоже сейчас. А, окей, okay, окей. Okay. Как полицейский, только в городе? Только в поселке, да. Раньше было хорошие полицейские, сейчас плохие полицейские. Окей. Okay. This is the river Nera which of course gives the name to the village, to the Pasiola Kapus Nera where we left from like an hour ago. So there you go. Of course it's frozen and covered in snow, like literally all of the rivers in Yakutia, Magadan and Chukotka in this part of the world at this time of the year. Tell me! Who's the fight Well, you see, we refer to it as the Kalima Highway, but reality is it's just an unpaved road 
thousand kilometer long, which is barely narrow enough for two vehicles at the same time. Они устроили во время гулага, да? Это зеки строили дорогу. Да, 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 да. Я читал об этом. Здесь дорога называется на костях. Да. And so, on the road of bones, we set out eastwards towards the border between Yakutia and the Magadan Oblast. While speeding, or rather bouncing at 90 miles per hour on an unpaved road through some of the most amazing sceneries that nature could offer, little thought was given to the incredible dangers connected to a poorly maintained road passing through the coldest region on the planet. Vasily didn't seem to mind picking up the phone in the rare moments where he'd get phone signal and he surely didn't mind a smoke or 20 along the journey. As you can see from my face here, I was absolutely shit in myself. I was, however, very surprised when we found somebody randomly standing on the side of the road. <laughs> So we just found somebody doing auto stop here on the Kalima. He's going towards Magadan, so we decided to pick him up. Can you imagine? That's something that I should have done. Hitchhiking along the Kalima. I can't even begin to imagine how long that guy had been waiting for a lift here in the middle of nowhere in minus 40 temperatures. So we have now stopped in this village, it's called Arctic, it's very close to the border between the Republic of Yakutia, Saha and the Oblast of Magadan and apparently there should be some sort of cafe, some sort of restaurant at Stalovia where we can have some lunch. It should be right behind this building. Здравствуйте, а, плов ест, да? Нет. А, нет, а, тогда э, полен курин с картофелем. Mm -hmm. да. Хлеб нужен? Now, this might very well be the lunch in the most remote village I've ever had in my life, wow. And I'm starving, so it's really good that I'm having lunch now. It's really good that we stop now in the village of Arctic. It's funny because originally when Vasily, our driver, said that we were going to stop for lunch in Istalovaya in this village, I thought that he meant this cafe over here because we passed by it and it said cafe something something. Now let's make sure we don't get run over by this massive truck. But then fortunately we passed by this building and then the cafe that we eventually spent our lunch at was this one right here, which looks much nicer, doesn't it? Soon after stopping for lunch, we officially crossed into the Oblast of Magadan. So, we're approaching sunset time here in the Kalima. We actually lost one hour on our trip, on our traveling from Usniera because we're in a different time zone ever since we crossed the border between the Republic of Yakutia and the Oblast of Magadan. Sunset was now approaching rapidly and temperatures were steady in the minus 40s. While we continued traveling deep into one of the most remote regions of Russia populated only by semi-abandoned mining towns scattered around the Kalima. So we just stopped by in the middle of nowhere because a couple of people had to take a leak and the driver wanted to have a smoke. I don't quite get why he didn't have a smoke on the inside of the car as he did for the past four hours already. <laughs> and let me just take a couple of pictures of this. We're at the entrance to the abandoned village of Kiedrovi on the Kalima. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, right? At Dave Legenda. And this is, by the way, the surface that we've been traveling on for the past, I don't know, two days and that will continue travel it on until we get to Magadan, still 700 kilometers to go. Pure ice! 
ice that will melt only in, I don't know, April, May, when temperatures will rise above zero degrees Celsius, finally! <laughs> 67 kilometers to go until we reach Ma no, not Magadan, I went to Susuman. We've still got 700 kilometers until we reach Magadan. So we made it to Susumon. We just needed to stop for a quick refueling because of course then afterwards Vasily will continue onwards to Magadan. But I want to stop in Susuman for at least one day. So we will go and see if they have some beds in the hotels. I think there's two hotels in Susuman. In the meanwhile, Vasily parked the bus uphill and there's no handbrake. So I had to come here to the seat of the driver and then hold the brake pedal like this while Vasily is doing the refueling. <laughs> Nie boję się. Nie boję się. Ja nie boję się. Prosta w Italii ja ważę maszyna rozmiar palawina i to. Wow, I could have taken the car and driven straight to Magadam myself. Can you imagine? That would have been an adventure. Nie zawsze lubię z miasta. Ja nie znam się, że wielcy starać się nie jeżdżają. Kto pojedzie w Susuman? O, czemu? To czy ja pojedzę w Susuman? Тут ребята работают, здесь а, золото добывают. Ты что? А, хорошо. Ну, ты ты все равно какой-то партизан, что ты думаешь, так что ли? Ну, посмотрим. А если что, поеду в Магадан с вами, что могу сделать? Я не знаю, там, не знаю. Дай бог, если ты хочешь посмотреть, что сумма. А сколько еще до Магадана, если что? Сколько часов? Ой, один бог знает, я не знаю. А, окей. Я знаю дорогу только. Right now, let's go and ask if they have some room for me. У вас место на сутки сегодня есть? А, у меня иностранный паспорт. Все нормально, да? Опа. Опа, почему опа? Здравствуйте. Да, все законно. Паспорт, российская виза, да, конечно. У вас никогда не были итальянцев здесь? Ну, пока я здесь работаю, не было. Нет. Хорошо, увидимся тогда. Место есть? Есть, хорошо. Да, да, они не, не уверены были, что иностранцы могут там. Она сказала, что надо поехать в миграционную службу а -а -а. завтра или что, не знаю. Скажу до свидания ребятам. Ребята, спасибо за компанию, удачи всем, хорошо? Я да, до свидания. Хорошо. Пока машина. So I just went for a quick walk outside of the hotel. Oh my god, I was sleeping on the ice again for the fourth time today. <laughs> so as I was saying, I just went for a walk outside of the hotel while the lady at the reception at the hotel was doing something with my passport. I don't know, Russian bureaucracy. And I was just admiring the amazing view of the sunset over the mountains of the Kalima surrounding Susuman. I can't wait to show you guys the room that I will be spending the night at tonight. Guys, let's go. By the way, you know that you're in a really weird place when you enter a hotel and you ask if there's room for you and they say yes and then you ask if there's any issue with you being a foreigner and then they say, look, wait a second, I've got to call someone. <laughs> Well guys, it's time to check in into our hotel in Susumar. This might be the creepiest hotel I've ever stayed at, hands down. Wow, this might be the worst price to quality ratio I've ever seen. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind a hotel room like this. But what I do not like is spending 4,000 rubles for this. Almost 50 euros. Wow, that's a lot for a place like this. We've got a fridge. We've got a microwave. We've also got the in-suit bathroom and the toilet. And it actually does look nice.
Well, that's my dinner for tonight. I'm all set. <laughs> so first things first, tomorrow, I have to make sure that I get myself a ticket on a marshrutka towards Magadan. Actually, at 9 o'clock, I've got an appointment at the police station of the town because the owner of this place, of this hotel, wants to take me to the migration office for some reason. I guess she just wants to make sure that, I don't know, everything is fine with my passport. So we'll see what's up with that. In the meanwhile, I'll be chilling for the rest of the night. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Cheers, lads. Bye.